G'day guys, my name is Dave Tran and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. And in this lesson, I'll be teaching you how to play the Game of Thrones theme song covered by Boyce Avenue. So unless you've been living under a rock, you'll probably know that Game of Thrones is back for season six, which is absolutely awesome. I'm a massive fan, so I thought it'd be really fun to show you this song today. If you haven't seen Boyce Avenue's rendition of this, then check out the video link right here. It's really great, sounds amazing, and it's exactly what I'll be teaching you today. So this rendition of the theme song has two guitar parts. There's a rhythm and there's a lead part. So I'm going to go over the rhythm stuff first and then later on in the video we can go over the lead lines. So for the basics you'll need your guitar on standard tuning and you'll need your capo on third fret. Now there's eight chords that you'll need to know for this song. If you want to learn your chords back to front then I suggest you head to guitarzerotohero.com and pick up my free guitar ebook. So the eight chord shapes are A minor, a major, F, C, G, E minor, D minor, and finally A minor slash D. Now for the A minor slash D, all you'll need to do is basically take your index finger, and that's on the first fret of the second string, and the middle finger goes on the second fret of the third string, and you're plucking from the 4th string all the way down, only those strings, and that's A minor slash D. You're not hitting the 6th or 5th string. And those are the 8 chords. Now for all of the rhythm, we're going to be finger picking. So our general rule of thumb here for the finger picking is going to be that the thumb is taking care of the 6th, 5th and 4th strings, and the index finger is assigned to the 3rd string, the middle finger is assigned to the 2nd string, and the ring fingers assigned to the first string. You shouldn't move your positioning from that whatsoever. Okay, so for the intro, we start with an A minor chord. So we're gonna strum that, and then we're gonna hit the open fifth string 11 times. Now this theme is in three, four timing, so it's got that waltz feel. So the count is one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three. So the A minor will sound like this. One, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three. After we've played the A minor, we play an A major and do the exact same thing. So in total, the intro sounds like this for the rhythm. One, two, three, two, two, three, 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 one, two, three, two, two, three. And that's it for the intro rhythm. Now we get to what I'm going to call the verse of this song. And it's basically two lines of chords. Now the first line of chords is going to be A minor, and then E minor, and then G, and then D minor. Now the second line of chords is going to be A minor, E minor, G, and then back to A minor. Now all these chords are going to be finger picked and arpeggiated, and now I'll explain which notes you need to hit. Okay, so starting with the A minor, we're just going to be starting on the fifth string, and then going to the fourth, and then third and second. So we're just going to be plucking one by one all the way down. And then we do that twice. So one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three. And that's it for the A minor. For the E minor, we do basically the same thing, except our bass note is on the sixth string. So we go sixth string, fourth string, third string, and second string. So the E minor sounds like this. And then we go to our G chord, and we do the exact same thing. And then for the D minor, we're going to start on the 4th string, and then pluck the 3rd, and then the 2nd, and then the 1st string. And the D minor will sound like... So that's the first line of chords, nice and easy. Now the second line of chords has a bit more detail to it. So with the A minor, our first three notes are exactly the same. So fifth string, fourth string, and third string. When we get to our second string, we're going to be plucking the fifth string, or the bass note, at the same time as well. So it's going to sound like this. And after we hit those two strings simultaneously, we go back to the third string and then fourth string. And then that picking is repeated twice for the A minor. So the A minor sounds like this. And one more time. One, two, 
When we get to the E minor, the picking pattern's exactly the same, except our bass note is of course the open sixth string. So the E minor sounds like this. The G picking pattern, exactly the same. And then we go back to the A minor, which is exactly the same as the first A minor. So that's it for the verse. I'll just play that verse the whole way through for you. So now we move on to what I call the chorus of this song and the chords are going to change up a little bit here. The picking pattern we're going to adopt is still going to be the same though. So we start with an F shape. So we're going to go 6th string, 4th string, 3rd string. When we get to the 2nd string, we're going to hit the bass note at the same time and then go back to 3rd and then 4th. So the F sounds like this. Now we're simply just going to play that once for the F. Our next chord shape is C. So the picking pattern for this is a little different in terms of what strings we're hitting. So we're going to go 5th, 3rd, 2nd string. When we get to the 1st string, that's when we're going to hit the bass note at the same time. And then we're going to go back to 2nd and 3rd. And that's the C. When we get to the D, it's going to be a similar picking pattern, but we're starting on the 4th string here. So 4th, 3rd, 2nd, 1st. At the same time we hit the 1st, we're hitting the bass note and then back to 2nd, 3rd. And the next chord is the A minor, and we've played this picking pattern before in the verse. But so to recap, the first four chords sound like this. So for the rest of this line, we have the F again. And then the next bit is where we change things up a tiny bit. We're going to get rid of that picking pattern for just two chords. So we're going to play an A minor slash D here, but we're just going to pick the first three notes of that chord. So fourth string, third string, and second. And that's it, just those three. And then we're going to go to E minor, and we're going to hit sixth, third, and second. So that section sounds like this. And then we go back to the original A minor picking pattern, and we play this twice. So in total, the rest of this section sounds like this. And all together, the whole line will sound like this. One, two, three, two, two, three. So that whole section is just repeated once in the chorus, but for the second time we play it, that last A minor chord is just going to be played for one picking pattern and then we're going to end just on the bass note. So the second time around, the A minor just sounds like this. And then there's a pause. So after the pause, we're no longer finger picking here, we're going to start strumming and that's where all the percussion comes in. Now for this strumming section of the song, it's really easy. The chords are going to be basically what we've learnt in the verse and chorus already but we're going to implement a strumming pattern which is going to sound like this down 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 up down 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 up and in succession it sounds like down 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 up down 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 up down 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 up down 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 up now up in the chord annotations here i'm going to have a little number next to each chord and that'll tell you how many strumming patterns you'll need to play for each chord so we get into verse two and in verse two we have these four chords a minor e minor G, and then back to A minor. Now each one of those chords is going to be strummed with four strumming patterns. And the second verse will sound like this.
Now we get to chorus two, and the chords are going to be very similar to what we learnt in the first chorus. So there's going to be two lines of chords here. The first line is F, C, D minor, and then A minor. And the second line is going to be F, A minor slash D, E minor, and then A minor. So altogether, the chorus will sound like this. And those two lines of chords are just repeated once. So that's everything for the rhythm. Now with the lead parts, I'm going to start using a pick here. I know Boyce Avenue use their fingers to pluck this, but I prefer using a pick for the lead parts. So starting with the intro, and we have this lick that's repeated four times. So what we're going to do is going to put our middle finger on the second fret relative to the capo on the third string, like that. And we're going to start by hitting the open first string and then going to the third string. And then with our index finger, we'll have that on the first fret of the second string. From that note, we're gonna hammer on using our pinky finger, and then we're gonna hammer on to the third fret of that second string, and it'll sound like this. Now, to hammer on, what you're gonna do is you can hit the note first on first fret, and then with your pinky, using a hammer motion, push onto the third fret. And we're gonna repeat that little lick four times. Now after we've played that four times, then what you're going to do is basically the exact same riff, but you're going to take your ring finger and then put it on the second fret of that second string. And then you're going to do the exact same thing, you're going to hammer on from second fret of the second string to the third fret using your pinky. And it'll sound like this. And altogether, the intro will sound something like this. One, two, three, two, two, three. Now we start into the verse. The first position of the verse is gonna be very similar to that little intro thing that we had. So we're gonna start in the same position, so middle finger on second fret of the third string. And we're gonna start here with the open first string. And then we're going to hit the third string, hammer on from first to third, and then go back to the open first, and then to the third string. And then we're going to do another hammer on from first to third, and then open second string. So all together that first little line sounds like this. And one more time. One, two, three, two, two, three. So for this next phrase, we're starting on third fret of the second string, and then we're gonna hit the open third string. And then from the first fret of the second string, we're gonna hit that with the index finger and then pull off. And then we're gonna go back to the third fret of the second string. And then after that, we go back to the open third string. And then we're going to pull off from first fret to zero on the second string again. And then end on the second fret of the third string. So altogether, that phrase will sound like this. And one more time. One, two, three, two, two. So that's it for that phrase. Now moving on to the next phrase, and we have a small lick that leads up to the A minor chord of this verse. So we're going to hammer on our third string open to second fret, and then we're going to do the same on the second string to the first fret, and then we're going to hit the third fret of the second string, and all together it will sound like this. And one more time. And after that, we're gonna basically play the first phrase that we've learnt for the verse, which is. So 
So with the lick leading up to it, it sounds like this. And one more time. And finally, the last phrase for this verse goes like this. We start on the third fret of the second string, and then we're going to hit the open third string. And then after that, we go to the third string, fourth fret relative to the capo with our index finger. And then we're going to go to the fifth fret, just one fret up, like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to play the fourth fret again, but hammer on and then pull off. That's all in one motion as well. So you should only be plucking that once with this hand, like that. But you hammer on, and then as soon as you hammer on, you pull off at the same time. So, so far we have third fret, open, four, five, and then hammer on, pull off. And we're gonna have open third again, and then hammer on from open third to two. So that phrase sounds like this all together. And one more time. Cool, so that's it for the verse. I'm gonna play that whole verse through now. And it'll sound like this. One, two, three, two, two, three. Now we get to the chorus and there's a small lick that leads into the chorus here. Now for that, what we need to do is play seventh fret and then ninth fret relative to the capo on the third string. And then we're gonna move up to eighth fret on the second string there. Now this is all relative to the capo, right? So it might look a bit confusing because you're really in reality playing the 10th fret and then the 12th fret and then the 11th fret. But for the purpose of the tabs up here, everything is relative to the capo. So we go seven, nine, and then eight. And that's the lead up lick. Like that. And the first note of that chorus, where we play the F for the rhythm, is going to be that 10th fret, which is in reality 13th fret here, on the second string. And you're gonna play that with your pinky. So the lead up lick sounds like this. Now after you've hit that 10th fret, you're gonna play 10th fret again, but on the fourth string. And you're gonna hit that with your ring finger. Like that. And then you're gonna to go to the eighth fret of the second string. After you've hit that, we go to the sixth fret of the second string with our index finger. And then we're gonna almost play like an A minor shape chord here. So middle finger on the seventh fret of the fourth string, and the ring finger will be on that seventh fret as well. So six, seven, seven, and then from that point with our ring finger, we're moving up to nine. So that nine is on the third string. Now I'll play what we've learnt so far all together. After that, we go down to the first fret of the second string, and then we're gonna hit the third fret of the fourth string, and we're gonna play that with our ring finger, and then we go back to the first fret of the second string, and then move that up two frets to third, and then move that up again two frets to fifth. And that's it for the first line. So all together, it will sound like this.
Now we get to the next line of the chorus. It's going to be quite similar. There's another lead up line. This time we start on ninth fret and then we go to 10th fret and that's on the third string. And then we go to the 8th fret of the second string and then 10th fret of the second string. And that's the lead up. After that 10th fret, we go to the 10th fret of the 4th string again, similar to what we did in the previous line. So from that point, we're going to the 8th fret of the 2nd string, but we're going to slide down to 6. And then immediately we'll hammer on from 6 to 8. So slide down and then hammer back up. So, so far it's... So after we've hammer on to that 8th fret, we're going to go to 6th fret relative to the capo and we're going to do that A minor sort of shape thing again. So from index finger here, I'm going to have our other fingers like that on the 7th fret above it. So after we hit 6, 7, 7, we're going to go to the 5th fret of the 2nd string with our index finger and then we're going to go to the 6th fret, but we're going to do this fairly quickly. And then we're going to do a hammer on pull offs and it's going to be fairly quick. So like that. So five, six, hammer on pull off. After that hammer on pull off, we're going to go to first fret and then third fret and then fifth fret on the second string like that. And then we're going to go to the fifth fret of the third string. So you can just take your middle finger here and put that there. And then we're going to go to the third fret of the fourth string. So you just stretch your index finger down to that third fret. And then we go back to the fifth fret of the third string and then down to fourth fret and then to second fret. And we hit that twice. So altogether that full line will sound like this. So after that first chorus, there's a bit of a pause and then we come into the next verse, the second verse. And there's a lead up lick here that we need to play. So it starts on second fret of the fourth string. Then we're going to reach to the fifth fret using our pinky of the same string. And then we're going to go two on the next string, which is our third string and then fourth fret. And then on the next string, we go first fret and then third fret and then open on the first string. So all together again, two, five, two, four, one, three, and then open. And a bit faster, it'll sound like this. And one more time. And that open string note will be the first note of the verse. And the lick that we play now is quite similar to the first verse that we learnt. So that is the first note of the lick and then we go second fret hammer on one three and then open back to two hammer on one and three and then open two so from the lead up now the only difference here is after we hit that open note we add some little extra parts we're going to go hammer on to two on the third string and then open two again. And we're going to do that three times like this. And the second phrase we have here is quite similar to what we've already learnt. So it goes third fret on the second string, open, four, five, hammer on, pull off, open, and then hammer on to two on the third string. And all together, that first line will sound like this. And that's it for the second verse. Now we move on to the chorus. And again, there's another lead up line that builds up to the first beat of the chorus and it goes like this. So we have 
7th fret, 9th fret, and then 10th fret, and that's on the 4th string. And then 7th, 9th on the 3rd string, and then 8th on the 2nd string, and then hit the 10th fret of the 2nd string. And that's going to be sort of the first beat of the chorus. So the lead up line will sound like this. And then after that we go to the 10th fret on the 4th string with our ring finger. And then we're going to do that slide down and hammer on thing from the 8th fret down to the 6th and then hammer on. So after the slide down and hammer on, we go to 5th fret with our index finger on the 3rd string. And then we go to our sort of A minor shape again, so 6th fret with the index finger and then 7 and 7 with the middle and ring. And then we're going to do the 5th fret on the 2nd string, 6th, and then that quick hammer on pull off, like that. So, so far we have this. And then from that point we go 1st fret, 3rd fret, 5th fret on the 2nd string. And then from that point we're going to hit the 5th fret of the 3rd string with our middle finger, stretch down with the index and hit the 3rd fret of the 4th string and then we go back to 1st fret, 3rd fret and then 5th fret of the 2nd string. And all together that full line will sound like this. Now we have the last section of the chorus and then again this is going to start with another lead up lick and it's going to go 8th fret with your pinky on the 1st string, 7th fret and then 5th fret, so and then 8th fret of the 2nd string and then down to the 5th fret of the 2nd string and then back up to the 8th fret of the 2nd string, so all together. And then after that point, you're going to hit the 8th again and slide up to 10. And then that will be basically the first beat for that F chord in that chorus. Like that. And one more time. So after you've slid from 8 to 10 with your pinky, you're going to take your ring finger and put it on 10th fret of the 4th string. And then we're going to do the slide from 8 to 6 and hammer back on like we have previously. And then we're going to hit the 5th fret of the 3rd string, stretch down with your index finger after that. And then we're going to do the 6th fret of the 2nd string and again do that sort of A minor shape, so 7 and 7 with the middle and ring. 6, 7, 7. And then we're going to go 5, 6 and do the small hammer on pull off. And then we go one, three, five on the second string. And then using your middle finger, you'll go to fifth fret. And then third fret on the next string, fourth string. And then you'll go back to the fifth fret on the third string. And then fourth fret. So after the fourth fret, you're gonna bar the second fret for the third and fourth strings. And you'll go third, fourth, and then hammer on from 3rd to 5th and then you'll repeat that 4 times. And that's it for the last section. So I'm going to play that section one more time all in full for you. So that's it for the chorus and the song ends with this small lead line which is basically the same as that little last lick we learnt but it's played up here on the first and second strings. So you'll bar the fifth fret relative to the capo with your index finger and then you'll go first string, second string and then with your middle finger you'll hit sixth fret, hammer on to the pinky 
to the eighth fret, and then you'll repeat that three times and then end on the first string. So it'll sound like this. Like that. And that's the outro. And the whole song, basically. And that's everything for the Boyce Avenue version of Game of Thrones. Now I'm going to play the full thing, and I'm going to show two different versions. So the first will be a playthrough concentrating on the rhythm, so you can play along to that. And then the second version will be a playthrough concentrating on the lead lines. So play along and see how you go.
And that's it for the Game of Thrones theme song, the Boyce Avenue edition. If you guys want to see a version where you can play both the melody and the rhythm at the same time, then just let me know in the comments. And if there's enough demand, I'll make that video as well. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoy season six of Game of Thrones. I'm sure I will as well. Be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. If you want to see more in the future, then please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and leave your thoughts, comments, and questions below. And I'll see you next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.